and that's how you put a heavy pack on. Still a bit of snow in the woods. Not much. Any place where the sun is hitting the ground, the snow is gone. shelter up tonight. So the shelter is up. I had to do that fast because the wind is quite cold coming off the lake. There's no way we could sit out in this. But once we're in here out of the wind, it's quite warm. PRS HF 30 meters and we beaconed a few times on PSK 3063 with uh, droid PSK and call was heard by three stations one was my home station which is ground wave probably right and then he was heard by K7 MT and KP3 FT so the HF packets we've sent have been using the Android app not a Windows machine. So we haven't been able to receive anyone yet. But I think what we're going to do is switch over and uh, to a Windows-based machine and see if we can do any reception. What software is that? Cross-country wireless APRS messenger. Mm -hmm. You've just received uh, N0QBH and then my home station, VA3OSO63. Uh -huh. And can you send an email? Sure. How yeah. do you do that? You say uh, send message to and you put the username as email yeah. in all capitals. And then as the message you put in the email address space and then the contents of the email after the email address and that's it. You can see on the handheld the lights flashing meaning I've received an APRS message. So how did I get that message? This guy. Uh, how'd you do that? 30 meters uh, APRS, HF. Okay. What's really cool is it connects to the APRS network that's already established. So we just use all their commands. So email and whatever else you can do on that, mesh uh -huh. networking. Uh -huh. All right, what we're going to do is Carson's going to transmit on HF APRS and then we're going to see how much time it takes before the local two meter eye gate transmits it to my handheld. You yeah, ready it was to pretty quick last time, so yeah. let's go. Now. That's transmitting. I think it's almost done. Done transmitting. So it didn't take very long once you finished transmitting. I could have put it on a faster mode to transmit that. Mm -hmm. And we can see the white light is flashing, meaning I have a message. So on my Android phone, I have a program that allows you to transmit on the Whisper Beacon network. 
So we set the FT817 to send out half watt whisper beacons. And uh, here is what we seem to be doing. So all of those reports are for a one half watt signal, half a watt signal. Only two transmissions too. Two transmission cycles at a half a watt, yeah. yeah. So lots to Europe and one to Antarctica. Are you pleased, OSO? Uh, I think it's a scam. Some fraudster. Yeah, yeah, fake news. Yeah. Well, this is the North Koreans. Portable digital station has run out of power. We can't transmit anymore. All we have is receive. The North Koreans are broadcasting to North America five times a day on several different frequencies. But I think Usually when they start talking and giving the news, suddenly the signal just seems to get jammed out and it disappears. But the introduction usually comes in really well. All packed up. Were we successful with APRS, yeah, the HF? New, the new 40 meter antenna works really well. Yeah. We ran out of power. We need bigger uh, batteries for our portable station. Digital modes eat electricity, and I need to get more battery. Well, when you run them at 50 watts, too, so yeah. maybe you should do that. Very well. <laughs> Let's go.